Have you ever wondered why some people's legal fees in a divorce and family law case are much higher than others? Hi, I'm Jerry Maggio, Orange County Divorce and Family Law Attorney, and in this video I'm going to explain some of the reasons why there can be big differences between what people incur in divorce cases in terms of legal fees and costs. Let's be honest, divorce can be very expensive depending on the facts and issues in a case. However, it's important to avoid some of the following instances that can make your divorce case or family law case that much more expensive. Number one is fee churning. So what is fee churning? Fee churning is when things are done in a case by an attorney that exceed what probably is really necessary to be done in the case. It's doing more than necessary and billing for it, which only benefits the attorney. For example, does every case require discovery? No. Another example is purposely dragging a case all the way to trial only to settle on the eve or day of trial when the case could have been settled weeks or months earlier. And in the interim, a bunch of legal fees will have been incurred to prepare for trial that will increase your legal fees substantially. That's fee churning. Another reason why cases can oftentimes result in higher legal fees in one case versus another is a situation where a case is over litigated. Over litigating a case can be very similar to fee churning in that more work is being done on the case than is really necessary. However, in my experience, over litigation of a case can occur when somebody on the other side is unwilling to settle. Oftentimes that might be the attorney wanting to litigate a case all the way to trial, never willing to settle on any other issue. That only results in the case dragging out, causing more legal fees to be done, and that can be done oftentimes with the other attorney not acting in his or her client's best interests. As a result, both parties owe their attorneys a substantial amount of money that they may or may not be able to pay. I've had cases where somebody is not willing to settle, particularly the other side, the other attorney, and they're willing to take this all the way to trial and not willing to compromise on anything. And in the end, what happens? Both parties end up getting saddled with a substantial amount of legal fees that they take forever to potentially pay for. They struggle financially to do so. So whatever victory may have been gained on that ends up being a hollow one here because of the amount of legal fees that ends up being incurred. Another case that I've had where the other side over litigated a case was involving a paternity case just this year. Paternity cases where the parties aren't married and have a child together. So the issues are a lot more simple than a divorce case. The only issues involved are child custody and child support. That's it. In that case, despite the fact that we entered into several agreements throughout the case that simplified the case, the other side still over litigated the case. They still spent too much time on doing discovery requests, subpoenas, and so on. We couldn't come to a resolution to, for the final case. And in the end, the case went to trial. The other side at the end of trial probably spent upwards of $100,000 in legal fees. Our legal fees were one third that. We at Module Law do not do fee churning. We also don't overbill and over litigate a case. Cases can be complicated oftentimes on their own. We don't try to make cases more complicated than they have to be. We work as a team with our clients to, to set a strategy and stick with that strategy, but not do things that are unnecessary in a case just to make cases drag out and cost more money. Another reason why legal fees can be higher in a case is a situation where the client wants us to be aggressive on their case. And what does that mean? That means they want us to do substantial discovery requests for production of documents or responding to questions. They may want us to do subpoenas. They may want us to do depositions. That may or may not be necessary, but those type of things can therefore increase your legal fees. So if a client is looking to do that, they should be prepared to pay for it and not complain about their legal fees being high. These are some of the situations where legal fees can be higher in a divorce and family law case. And having this knowledge will hopefully prevent you from incurring legal fees more than you need to in your divorce or family law case. If you or somebody you know is going through a divorce or may be going through a divorce, please contact our firm for a free consultation. I'm Jerry Maggio, Orange County Divorce and Family Law Attorney. If you like this video, click on the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative videos. See you next time.